the Latino community has demonstrated the influential role it is playing and will continue to play uh, in American politics. Conservatively speaking, because we want all the data to come out, but let's just say conservatively speaking, it's safe to say that at least 10 million Latinos voted in 2008. That's a 32 percent increase over 2004 and somewhere uh, over 2 million voters and perhaps nearly 3 uh, million voters more. Latinos supported Obama by a 67 percent compared to about 59 percent for Kerry in 2004. And Latinos played a decisive role in the Democratic victory in New Mexico, Florida, Colorado, and Nevada. Although present in smaller numbers in those states, it is also clear that given the tight margins in Indiana and North Carolina in this election, Latino margins helped to shift those states as well. On the issues, it is undeniable that front and center for Latinos is always the economy and jobs. And in that respect, I think our community was no different than many others. And as has been traditionally the case uh, at the top of the Latino list of concerns, we also saw education be a priority and health care rose to the top of the list. And Latinos are concerned about the war. Our perspectives on these issues are often nuanced by our experiences, but we share the concerns a majority of Americans have, and we want to see those issues addressed. However, this has led some pundits uh, to say that Latinos don't care about immigration or that it wasn't a priority in this election. But I think those pundits don't understand our community very well. They don't understand how the issue, this issue plays a role in our community. When immigration is part of the t political debate, as it has been over the last several years, it becomes a sort of test. It's not, maybe it's not classified as a priority, but it's a test by which uh, Latinos gauge how politicians and parties regard our community. Why? Because the toxic nature of the immigration debate, the pernicious effects stirring up anti-immigrant sentiments for vote affect all Latinos. For us, this is a civil rights issue as much as it is an immigration policy issue. We know that hateful words have hateful consequences. Hate groups and hate speech dominated the debate on immigrants in the last couple of years and quite frankly leading into this election, often mischaracterizing Latinos and the institutions that serve them in the process. And we've seen the consequences. Just this past weekend, we saw the brutal murder of a Latino immigrant in Long Island by teenagers wanting to beat up someone who looked Hispanic. It's not anecdotal. FBI hate crime statistics show attacks against Latinos on the rise over the past four years. And the Southern Poverty Law Center has reported that the number of hate groups has also risen uh, we, that have targeted Latinos. And this has happened over the same period of time. Many pundits have gotten another thing wrong. Stirring up anti-immigrant sentiment for votes, a tactic embraced by many in the Republican Party and by some Democrats, did not work with the broader public. It has, however, energized one electorate, Latinos. And it, and it has energized them towards citizenship, toward the voting booth, and away from those who would demonize our community. Since the country as a whole is not buying this fool's gold of anti-immigrant rhetoric, this is yet another interest Latinos share with all Americans. We want to see immigration reform that serves the national interests, that upholds our values, that restores the rule of law, and that puts intolerance in check. So we understand that there are lots of important issues that were at front and center in this election. But for Latinos, we want to make sure that folks understand that the immigration issue is important to us. It cuts across any facet of any one of our lives through our community, through our workplace, through our neighborhoods. And I believe that many Latinos who entered this election cycle took very seriously a mantra started two years ago. 
Today we march, tomorrow we vote. We saw that mantra played out in many ways during this election. And we also saw that Latinos understood that if we were gonna change the opportunity to advance responsible immigration reform, it was no longer a policy debate. We needed to change the political landscape. We changed the political landscape and we expect and hope that we will see change on the immigration reform front. Thank you very much.